Muscle dysfunction, which means not muscle disease, but muscle that's not operating correctly. And we know that there are different reasons for that. There's, there can be tension, weakness, stiffness, spasm, or what people call trigger points or altered muscle tissue. All of this results when there's pain from those phenomena in a muscle that doesn't contract well. So we can say it doesn't activate well. Um, and there are people, um, I know Greg Ros Roscoff is one of them who treats um, major, uh, major league teams, uh, major golfers, um, and is able to work on the concept that if he can activate a muscle that is somewhat silent, that he can restore function. And we see that as a, a linear, uh, in, a, in a sort of a next step approach. We understand that there's a pathophysiological model for the pain that we learned from Siegfried Mensa and other investigators. We know that there's a functional model for the pain that we've learned from Hans Krauss. We know that there are treatment approaches to deal with the acute pain when there's altered muscle tissue. And now we also see that there's a possibility to get maximum performance from muscles that could be applied to major league athletes, but to the common person who wants to be more physically fit. And so if we have a model that's very thoughtful in how we would apply exercise going forward and how we can improve functionality, that that would be part of the mission of FRAME, to study all approaches that could be under the rubric of a discipline of muscle.